Bonsoir et bienvenue. How are we doing today? Good? Let me repeat it. I didn't hear everyone. Exci excited? That's, that's the spirit. Congratulations, everyone. Uh, congratulations to the graduating students. Congratulations to the parents, the families, the friends that are accompanying the students. Uh, it, is, uh, the, it is one of the big day in the life of the dean, in the life of the faculty, to see the fruit of our hard work, and perhaps more importantly, the hard work that you have put in in your education. We'll start the official ceremony in just a few minutes, um, but I wanted to first to express my congratulations to you. Um, you know, you've all been great in terms of your studies, and I, wish, well, I want to wish you the very best in terms of the future. But at the same time, I wanted to make a small request to you. Um, my request actually relates uh, to you staying throughout the ceremony. Uh, I think it is uh, a sign of respect to your, uh, to, your uh, to your class fellows, to your batchmates, to your friends, um, that uh, we do not leave the ceremony in the middle. We, we let the ceremony conclude to its natural end. And uh, by the way, if you stay at the end, there would be refreshments outside as well. So we'll start. We'll start in a, new, uh, in a few minutes. Congratulations once again, and uh, best of luck with the ceremony.
Good evening, everyone. Monsieur le Chancelier, Monsieur le Président du Conseil des Administrations. Mr. President and Vice Chancellor, Mr. Rebecca Brent and Dr. Richard Felder, honored platform guests, graduates, parents, and friends. Bienvenue and good evening. My name is Amir Asif, and I'm the Dean of the Gina Kori School of Engineering and Computer Science. It is an honor for me to be here looking out over a sea of graduates. You have dedicated your most recent years at Concordia to advancing your education. We are here to celebrate the hard work and many accomplishments that have brought you to this day. I'm excited to see what the future will hold for you in light of the many outstanding accomplishments of our other alumni. I would like to point out that among us you sit the first graduate of a new department of chemical and materials engineering. Life is, without, life is never without hardship, but our job is to provide you with the skills and lessons to help you on your path. The Gina Corey School of Engineering and Computer Science has never been better poised to provide you with the foundation to succeed in your life's journey. My greatest wish is that you leave here excited about your future, even if it is wrapped up in a bit of nerves. I would like to recognize your families and your friends who are like family who have come to celebrate with you today. You have provided stability and guidance to these graduates, and the road to success is so much smoother with a supportive community behind you. For that, I personally thank you on behalf of the Gina Cody School of Engineering and Computer Science. Graduates, your zeal and ability to think outside the box makes our school a shining example of what is possible, that everyone can, can to aspire to. Evidence of which can be seen in the many trophies and awards that you bring home from national and international competitions. Your dedication inspires all of us. I want you to know that a door is always open. You will be part of the Gina Cody School family, and no matter how far you go, you will always have a home here. Congratulations, valedictorian Carlos Zetina, Dr. Rebecca Brent, and Dr. Richard Felder, recipients of today's honorary doctorates, and especially to the class of 2019. Everyone, please join Ms. Colleen Bartley, mezzo-soprano in the singing of O Canada. just point out that Colleen is a double graduate of Concordia. 
Bonsoir. Je suis très heureux de célébrer avec vous aujourd'hui les réalisations des finissantes et finissants de notre école de génie et d'informatique Gina Cody. I'd like to begin by please please be seated. I'd like to begin by acknowledging that this ceremony and that both campuses of Concordia University are located on unceded Indigenous lands. The Kanyagahaga Nation is recognized as the custodians of the lands and waters on which we gather today. Jejoge ou Montréal est historiquement connu comme un lieu de rassemblement pour de nombreuses Premières Nations et aujourd'hui une population octotone diversifiée ainsi que d'autres peuples y résident. We respect the continued connections with the past, present, and future in our ongoing relationships with Indigenous and other peoples within the Montreal community. Now you may be asking yourself, why are we beginning a convocation ceremony with a territorial acknowledgement? The short answer is that many universities in Canada have crafted similar acknowledgements to begin important events. They do so as a response to the calls to action of the Truth and Reconciliation Commission. The commission was an inquiry into the tragic history of the residential schools program, which has been described as a cultural genocide perpetrated against Indigenous peoples. Two weeks ago, the New Yorker writer Adam Gopnik gave a talk at Concordia. He had been on a speaking tour of Canada. En tant que Montréalais vivant à New York, il a été frappé de voir à quel point les reconnaissances territoriales se sont enracinées dans la culture des universités canadiennes. And he asked a difficult question. In their repetition, do these acknowledgments risk becoming just another instance of Canadian piety? In other words, do we really feel the meaning of these words, or are they just a new part of our rituals? So let me try to answer Adam's question with another question for all of you. Did you ask yourself why today's ceremony began with a bagpipe, or why we sang, O Canada, or why we're displaying flags signifying the territories of Montreal, Quebec, and Canada? Come vous? Je ressens une immense fierté à l'égard de notre ville, du Québec et du Canada. Nous avons beaucoup de chance de vivre ici. And, as a publicly funded institution, we're extremely grateful for the support of all three levels of government. But does that explain why we take some ceremonial trappings for granted and others not? So let me try another angle. You may be surprised to hear this, but let me assure you, I don't dress like this every day. And neither do my colleagues on the stage, and neither do you, the graduates. Nous abordons cette tenue aujourd'hui parce que nous prenons part à une version d'une cérémonie européenne dont les origines remontent à des centaines d'années. Elle célèbre l'institutionnalisation du savoir universitaire comme fondement de la société civile. Le modèle universitaire européen a été franchisé et aujourd'hui, tel des succursales, plus de 20 000 universités existent partout dans le monde. You won't be surprised to hear that I believe deeply in the societal value of universities. Our research and teaching play a vital role in tackling the world's grand challenges. And universities prepare next generations of informed citizens to make a positive difference in society. But at the time of their origin, universities were gated communities. Some still are. They devalued or marginalized other forms of knowledge. So by giving a territorial acknowledgement here today, we're also confronting the colonial origins of higher education in Canada. In this way, the acknowledgement serves as a reminder 
of the unconscious biases that all of us betray. I'd like to believe that when you chose to pursue your education at Concordia, at the Gina Cody School, you hoped that in some way it would transform you. J'espère que vos professeurs et vos pères vous ont poussé à envisager, envisager le monde autrement, avec un esprit plus critique. But I also hope you discovered that just as there are limits to what each of us knows, universities also don't have a monopoly on knowledge. Knowledge comes in different forms from many places. And in the case of Concordia, it comes from the diversity of peoples alluded to in the territorial acknowledgement. In fact, few universities anywhere can claim to be as diverse as we are. 20% of our students come from outside Canada, from more than 150 countries, not counting indigenous nations, I should add. Plus de 20% de nos étudiants et étudiantes ont le français comme langue maternelle, et plus de 30% ont une langue maternelle autre que le français ou l'anglais. Ce sont de telles particularités qui contribuent à faire de Concordia une lieu si propice à l'innovation. The value of diversity is etched into the identity of Concordia's Gina Cody School. In case you hadn't already spotted her, we're privileged to have Dr. Cody with us today on stage. Gina was an immigrant from Iran, and in 1989, she became the first woman to earn a PhD in building engineering from Concordia. Her story is a tribute to the power of diversity. Like the territorial acknowledgement, it's also an important reminder that we need to work purposefully to foster diversity at Concordia, particularly in disciplines like engineering and computer science. Diversity forces people to find new ways to communicate and express themselves. To do that, you have to learn to think differently, to learn across boundaries. And that's an important lesson, because in the 21st century, knowledge is a team sport. Many of you already know this. The Gina Cody School is famous for its student clubs like Space Concordia, and yes, women in engineering. Many of the undergraduates here today will remember teamwork on capstone projects, and the graduate students will equally have benefited from working in large lab, lab groups that can resemble meetings at the United Nations. Gina combined her talent with hard work to become a success herself and create pathways for the next generation to follow her example. Her generous gesture to attach her name to your school has become a beacon for diversity across Canada and around the world. So now, let me ask all of you another question. What will you do with the knowledge and skills you gained here at Concordia? We're living through a moment in human history when misinformation, disinformation, and outright contempt for expertise are all too pervasive. My hope is that each of you will leave here determined to take those falsehoods on, that you will leave here optimistic that you can make a positive difference at a time when there are too many naysayers, cynics, hucksters, and voices of discouragement hogging social media and the public commons. I'll close my remarks with one last reference to the territorial acknowledgement. Let's be frank, the acknowledgement is a reminder of a place and time we never knew. Pour une université, une nouvelle génération comme Concordia, il s'agit d'un rappel que notre présence a toujours été précédée par celle d'autres peuples. Et ce rappel est nécessaire car l'oubli est souvent beaucoup plus, facile, beaucoup plus facile que le souvenir. So if you remember only one thing from today, 
May it be that you'll always be our best ambassadors. As you go on to do great things, take with you the immense pride everyone in this hall today has in you. Go out and lead your life proudly. Do it in a way that makes it impossible for the world to forget that you were here, that Concordia, that the Gina Cody School is a part of why and how you do what you do. Thank you. Thank you for having chosen Concordia. Congratulations, and may I wish you all the best of success. Mr. President and Vice Chancellor, it is my honor to present to you Dr. Rebecca Brent, Influential Educator of Teachers. <clears throat> Dr. Brent started her career as a primary school teacher. It was only during her doctorate in education while supervising beginning teachers that she realized her calling was to teach other teachers. Avec le professeur Richard Felder, elle a donné plus de 600 ateliers sur l'enseignement et le perfectionnement des professeurs dans le domaine de génie. In her 35 years in the field, she has written extensively on subjects that are highly valued by universities like Concordia that prioritize quality and innovation in teaching. The well-read blog of the consulting firm she runs with Dr. Felder, Education Designs Inc., is quite comprehensive. It covers everything from the principles and techniques of good teaching to student motivations and resistance to tips for students. Drs. Brent and Felder have also codified many of their ideas in their 2016 book, Teaching and Learning STEM, A Practical Guide. Mr. President, on behalf of Senate and the Board of Governors, it is my privilege and honor to present to you Dr. Rebecca Brent, so that you may confer upon her the degree of Doctor of Laws Honoris Causa. Join me in welcoming Dr. Brent for her convocation address. Mr. President and Vice Chancellor, honored platform guests, graduating class, family and friends, it's a great privilege to receive this honor and I thank you so, so very much. In preparing for this short address, I was thinking back to my own journey and sitting at several of my own graduation ceremonies, getting ready to take that next step and start something new. Each time, I was pretty sure I was about to reveal myself as a fraud who really did not belong in graduate school or getting a doctorate or teaching in a university or evaluating programs or facilitating teaching workshops or writing a book. Yep, I had imposter syndrome and I had it bad. 
Some of you have it too, that voice you hear in your head saying that this will be the one that reveals you for the fraud, the imposter that you know you are. You fooled them all this time into thinking you're smart or talented. The very next challenge will reveal you as the fraud, the phony you know you are. The thing is, that voice is wrong. It's a scam because you can't do what you can't do. You're here. If you had what it takes to get into this good and wonderful university to complete a tough program, you have what it takes to take that next step as well. It might help us all to know we're not really alone in these feelings. I found a story by the English author Neil Gaiman, who has written more than 40 books comics, including several Sandman that some of you may be familiar with, and numerous pieces for television and film, he tells a story. Some years ago, I was lucky enough to be invited to a gathering of great and good people, artists and scientists, writers and discoverers of things, and I felt that at any moment they would realize that I didn't qualify to be there among these people who had really done things. One evening, I started talking to a very nice, polite, elderly gentleman about several things, including our shared first name. And he pointed to the hall of people and said words to the effect of, I just look at all these people and I think, what the heck am I doing here? They've made amazing things. I just went where I was told. And I said, yes but you were the first man on the moon. I think that counts for something. And I felt a bit better because if Neil Armstrong felt like an imposter, maybe everyone did. Maybe there weren't any grown-ups, only people who had worked hard and also got lucky and were slightly out of their depth, all of us doing the best job we could, which is all we can really hope for. So, if this old imposter has any advice for you, it's to recognize that voice for what it is, a scammer, and forge ahead to whatever your next step is. And remember, you are ready. And congratulations. Dr. Brent, after uh, an address about frauds and uh, phonies, I think what I mostly want to do is thank you for your authenticity. Thank you so much for your commitment to education and for being part of our community. Thank you. Mr. President, it is my honor to present to you Dr. Richard Felder, celebrated professor of engineering and education. <clears throat> Dr. Felder's career splits roughly into two halves, equally successful and influential. Après avoir obtenu son doctorat en génie chimique à Princeton, il a mené une brillante carrière dans ce domaine. En 1978, il a consigné le manuel Elementary Principles of Chemical Processes. Now in its fourth edition, it is used by more than 90% of chemical engineering departments in the US today. In the late 80s, Dr. Felder switched career gears to education methodologies. He co-developed and scientifically validated the much consulted online index of learning styles. Like any good professor, he's always operating on two levels, knowledge acquisition and skills development. His learner-centered approach teaches students how to learn from one another 
rather than considering the professor the sole source of knowledge. A great life lesson. In his two fields of expertise, Dr. Felder's name appears atop more than 300 papers. In 2012, he was named the first ever recipient of the Lifetime Achievement Award from the American Society for Engineering Education. Mr. President, on behalf of Senate and the Board of Governors, it is my privilege and honor to present to you Dr. Richard Felder so that you may confer upon him the degree of Doctor of Laws honoris causa. Join me in welcoming Dr. Felder for his convocation address. Mr. President and Vice Chancellor, honored platform guests, graduating class, family and friends, I want to thank Concordia University immensely for this singular honor that you're bestowing on me today. Just a few minutes ago, Dr. Brent told you about the imposter phenomenon, a scam that many of us run on ourselves, which says that we fooled them all over all these years and we don't really belong here at this first-rate university or standing at this podium or whatever else. But it is a scam. The fact that you, graduating class, were, are here today proves definitively that you had what it takes to be here today. I want to tell you about another scam that some of you may be playing on yourselves. This one goes like this. You're here getting ready to graduate, and there's a lingering fear in some of you that all of the things that you were taught in the years you've been here were not the real things that you'll need to know when you leave here and go out into the real world or go to graduate school where you leave the real world for another four years. It says that somehow or other, they're going to come up with things that I need to do when I'm out there that I really don't know how to do. And that's when I'll finally be unmasked as the imposter that I know I am. And there's more. Even if I can manage to get by on the job that I'm going to be doing, I'm not sure that it's the right job for me. I don't know exactly what I'm going to be doing out there, but I'm not positive that it's something that I'd like to do, that I'll enjoy doing, that I'll look forward to getting up every morning and doing more of. I might even hate that job, whatever it turns out to be. How do I know about this scam? Experience, of course. I did fine as an undergraduate student and a graduate student in chemical engineering, but I was not sure that I had what it takes to become a professor, which was what I decided I wanted to do. Once I got the academic position, I found that I, I did like it. There were many things that I liked about it. And the engineering research that I did, I liked that too. And I did it well enough to succeed and go all the way to get tenure and promotion. 
But what I found I really liked once I got out there and doing it for a couple of years was teaching. I didn't just like teaching, I loved teaching. The experience of working with students and figuring out what was hindering their learning and trying to find better ways of doing it so that I could help them overcome the obstacles to their learning, I found immensely challenging and immensely satisfying when it worked. And I knew at that point that I had find, found the right job, but it took me several years after I began as an academic to discover that. And I got tenure, and I went on to a really great career for myself. I decided once I had tenure and I was free to do pretty much anything I wanted, that, okay, I've done all of that other stuff, but now I'm gonna dedicate the remainder of my career to teaching and learning. And I did research on teaching instead of on the technical aspects of engineering. And I wrote about what I was discovering, and I wrote about teaching and learning, and I started getting invitations to go other places and talk about what I had discovered. And it was a dream career for me. But it didn't just happen right away. It took me years to discover what I wanted to do and to do it. So what's my message in all of this for you? It is, don't worry if you don't feel certain now that you're doing the right thing. You're going to go out and go to graduate school and get a career after that or go directly into industry. And what might happen is you'll find right away that you did the right thing and that you're in a job that you love doing and you're good at. And that's what I hope happens to all of you, but it won't. Some of you will find, well, this is okay, but this is not really what I want to do with my life and career. And the good news for you is you're not stuck for the rest of your life if it turns out that there might have been other things that you should have done. In today's climate, it's relatively rare for students to go out, get their first job, and stay on that job for the rest of their careers. It's more common now for people to change. So my advice to you is if you find yourself on that first job and it's not what you really want to do, first of all, learn what you can from it. And you can't help learning no matter what it is you're going to be doing. And then keep your eyes open. Pay attention to what you're good at, what you really love to do, and look for opportunities that come along that give you a chance to do that, more opportunities than perhaps your current job gives you. And when the time seems right, move. And if necessary, do that on your next job. And if you do, eventually, sooner or later, and I hope sooner, you'll find a position that allows you to do what you're good at, what you enjoy doing, what you love doing, and you will be a success at it. And once that happens, you can start working on your award acceptance speech. I wish you all the best of luck, whatever your path happens to be, and bon voyage on your journey. Thank you. Thanks very much, Dr. Felder. I guess if you needed a role model for how to reinvent your career, you could take it from someone who my colleagues tell me wrote one of the Bibles uh, in chemical engineering and has since converted into one of the leading thinkers together with Rebecca on how we perform that other critical mission of universities, how we teach, and how we all learn. So thank you. Thank you both. for for being here this evening.
So now while our graduates are uh, preparing to cross the stage, I invite you to enjoy the music of the Concordia Jazz Trio. I'm pleased to introduce to you the candidates for the Doctor of Doctorate in Philosophy from the following programs. Building Engineering, Civil Engineering, Computer Science, Information and System Engineering, Electrical and Computer Engineering, Industrial Engineering, and Mechanical Engineering. Sayida Sara Fanay. Muhammad Mortiza Zada Dorost Kar. Hassan Hamid Al Hashami. Abdel Majid Lagoum. Ali Riza Muhammadi. Rabia Muftah Abdel Karim. Tamara Finidi Ditimi. Ellis Emmanuel Egan. Xavier de Carnet de Carnavale. Abbas Sultanian. Iqbal Talib. <laughs> ha. 
Hania Adipur. Nida Ibrahimi Kopiai. Mahmoud Qasimi Bijan. Muammar Hwaj. Mahmoud Kamil. Mina Nabi. Masume Rizai Abkinar. Omid Satlu. Christopher Williams. Mustafa Badakhshan. <laughs> Ali Riza Ibrahim Nijad. <laughs> Ali Akbar Nuzari. Alexander Romao Costa Nascimento. I am pleased to introduce to you the candidates for the Bachelor of Baccalaureate in Engineering from the Departments of Building, Civil, and Environmental Engineering. Osim Matkor. Alexander Müller, with distinction. Chris Castillo Pena. Yu Jo Hu. Khadija Koma. Hazem Morsi. Hazem Morsi. Lolita Ping. Olga Topa. Jia Yua Zhang. Muhannad Al Nuali. I didn't burn out this. Evan Bernardis. Karim Hamdi. I'm pleased to introduce to you the candidates for the Bachelor of Baccalaureate in Computer Science and for the Bachelor of Baccalaureate in Engineering in Software Engineering. Khaled Ali. Hagop Awakian. Florian Bouvet. Asif Bhatt. Asif Bhatt. Jason Tohed. 
Jason Delat, with great distinction. Theo Girmon. Theo Girmon. Julian Huang. Julian Huang, with distinction. Luca Lefoucher. Sivaratna Manik. Kelvin Gwyn. Kelvin Gwyn. Sabrina Riek with distinction. Starley Salon. Kevin Ye. Michelle Chatmajian. Michelle Chatmajian. Alexander Masmodit. Kim Tong Brian Wo. I am pleased to introduce to you the candidates for the Bachelor of Baccalaureate in Engineering from the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering. Amadou Fall. Sun He Lee. Adam Rice. Nathan Shamugan. Nathan Shamugan. Zi Chen He. Marc André Lozier. Arij Ali Mirjad. Nicolas Pononzio. Muhammad Usama Qalam. Muhammad Usama Qalam, with great distinction. <laughs> Suzette Slim. I am pleased to introduce to you the candidates for the Bachelor of Baccalaureate in Engineering from the Department of Mechanical, Industrial, and Aerospace Engineering. Amza Ben Suda. Amza Ben Suda. Adriana Sayoun. Stefan Tavaraja. <laughs> Faraz Abu Ziani. <laughs> Ahmed Almaskati. Rami Barsoom. William Alexi Bouchard. William Alexi Bouchard. 
James William Arthur Jefford. Re Rebecca Morani, with distinction. Nasibe Mirvakili, with distinction. Patrick Patel, with distinction. Karim Taleb. Cheng Tong Wu. Christian Leon. Kevin Nguyen. I'm pleased to introduce to you the candidates for the graduate diploma in the following program, Computer Science. Bilal Qandil. Bilal Qandil. Gregory Selinger. Arubin Balaji Viswanathan. I'm pleased to introduce to you the candidates for the graduate certificate in the following program, Innovation, Technology, and Society, Mechanical Engineering. Mithul Kumar Shah. I'm pleased to introduce to you the candidates for the Master of Magisteriate in Applied Science and the Master of Magisteriate in Engineering from the Department of Building, Civil, and Environmental Engineering. Roya Amrullahi Buki. Rémi Dumoulin. Roshanak Iftikhari Rad. Fangwe Pu. Kavana Sidapa. Riza Abbasi Malakabadi. Nargis Abed. Nargis Abed. Haytham Al Abud. Hussein Mohammed Al Gindi. Mahdis Gudra Sanama Shabistari. Darsha Kumar Vinubai Kalathia. Safa Mukahal. Muhammad Riza Mushayidi. Muhammad Riza Mushayidi. Sayyida Pariya Nuri Husseini. Nuri 
Mireti Sarkisian. Tatiana Tanwar. Fan Wu. Mohammed Ali Ejdaifat. Amirali Amir Jabari. Cyprian Kambila. Nader Gerges. Nader Subhi Kuzman Gerges. Min von Nuyen. Xuan Xuan Xu. Mushtaba Abdulifard. Abishak. Richard Rudolph Aidu. Reza Aminifar. Prabjot. Prabjot Singh Arora. Rabi Ataya. Rabi Ataya. Alfredo Ayala. Nishan Sen Shavda. Art Dalwadi. Mahdiya Yasmin Del Nas. Mahmoud Ghanimi. Mohammed Bilal Ghannam. Alfred Singh Jill. Veronica Gulashowska. Parishad Gail Gurung. Amin Jahan Shahi. Vine Karadi. Shukpreet Ho. Sharyas Krishnamurthy. Shaoliang Liu. Muhammad Luqman. Sukvir Singh Mataru. Dwani Mehta. Wait, wait. Puyal Nainar. Nishant. Ibrahim Adilai Olwanari Waju. Dilai 
Diwakaran Ramesh Babu. Humayun Ur Rashid. Asher Sayyid. Jajit Singh. Manpreet Singh. Hussain Sulaimani. Vinet Kumar Srivastava. Mohammed Mahmoud Sayyid. Mina Tarizada. Jubin Kalpesh Kumar Tamakuala. Ziming Wang. Harsha Vardana Ridi Aramudu. Yingling Zhang. I'm pleased to introduce to you the candidates for the Master of Magisteriate in Applied Computer Science, Master of Magisteriate in Computer Science, and Master of Magisteriate in Engineering from the Department of Computer Science and Software Engineering. Wastabir Rajvi Alam. Akshita Angara. Ayush Bauguna. Pranav Bhatia. Patrick Paul Christofaru. Yuhan Gao. Anil Higodu Raghavendra. Anil Higodu Raghavendra. Tumer Horluev. Chongsu Wang. Manjusha Karanam. Shireen Kohl. Yong Kong Lee. Song Wen Lee. Julian Raj Manandar. Rashmi Manandar. Vigneswar Murugesen. Sujay Neglor. Prashant Kumar Patel. Nigel Rodriguez. Nigar Sadigi. Akshay Shah. Farhan Shaheen. Kritika Sharma. Rahul Sharma. 
Rahul Anil Sharma. Ahmed Skaliusi. Ahmed Skali Husseini. Sayyid Maksud. Maksud Sayyid. Ashraf Vedanta. Venkata Shurya Kasyap Vandantam. Vaishnavi Venkatraj. Lakshay Verma. Wrong she. Guambijan. Guambijan. Layla Abdullahi Vaigan. Eiberg Aksoy. Jutsana Gupta. Akil Jobi. How to lie. Bo Lee. Yan Ma. Iran Shen. Jerry George. Jerry George Thomas. Antoine Tran. Matthew Robert Zach. Muhammad Akif Beg. E. Zeng. Ulud Adyugun. Suhail Akhtar. Shaina Ali. Emmanuel Tamunotoni Amberi. Nandini Ambalagan. Nandihi Ambalagan. Samir Popatbai Angan. Samir Popatbai Angan. Shahram Aryanpur. Divyesh Kumar Balar. Divyesh Kumar Balar. Karan Behel. Karan Behel. Karan Bhala. Karan Bhala. Amit Bardwaj. <laughs> Dibanjana Bhattacharya. Shami Parna Chakrabotri. Shami Parna Chakrabotri. Shahida Gafar Shohan. Shahida Gafar Shohan. Alicia Surender Kumar Chopra. Shandakan Gangisotti. 
Shantarakan Gangi Seti. Mario Gonzalez. Samiksha Gupta. Vivek Venugupal Haribal. Mehran Ishanian. Palash Jain. Git Jayawera. Jasmine Kadara. Harjit Kaur. Ishdeep Kaur. Kumalpreet Kaur. Sohila Kaur. Tarundeep Kaur. Jai Katri. Jai Katri. Amandeep Kaur Kosa. Jaskaran Singh Kukreja. Lizzie Liao. Lizzie Liao. Ankur Malorta. Ankur Malorta. Navjot Kaur Minhas. Navjot Kaur Minhas. Rodolfo Mateus Mota Miranda. Jafar Muhammadi. Jafar Muhammadi Nuda. Elham Narangifar. Elham Narangifar. Jesus Onofre. Jesus Onofre Diaz. Neha Pal. Himani Patel. Himani Patel. Kishan Rakolia. Kishan Rakolia. Kartik Ramachandran Murugisan. Kartik Ramachandran Murugisan. Him Deep Core Rancy. Mohit Sani. Mohit Sani. Birva Harshad Bai Shah. Rudvik Shandilia. Ragav Sharda. Kunal Sharma. Kunal Sharma. Manisha Sharma. Aman Kirat Singh. Harman Preet Singh. Harmit Singh. Harmit Singh. Sandeep Singh. Sandeep Singh. 
Sat Gursen. Sat Gursen. Satnam Singh. Simranjit Singh. Simranjit Singh. Surabi. Fatima Talibi Rustami. Rablin Singh Verdi. <laughs> Navroop Verk. <laughs> I'm pleased to introduce to you the candidates for the Master of Magistrate in Applied Science and the Master of Magistrate in Engineering from the Concordia Institute of Information Systems Engineering. Gagandeep Singh Chavla. Mohammad Zakir Hussain. Jaspreet Singh Kalsi. Kamal Maniksha Mathin Henry. Kamal Maniksha Mathin Henry. Emmanuel Adaimi. Adekun Nuruddin Alafidefa. Anusha Anant Narayana. Shabad Preet Singh Arora. Sai Krishna Bandaru. Sai Krishna Bandaru. Manav Chavla. Daksharaj Chopra. Namrata Liberty Darla. Sujata Devi Neni. Nilufar Hadari. Amandla Yase. Jayant Ayer. Jayant Ayer. <laughs> Navjeet Kaur. Kamal Mohan. Kamal Mohan. Nicholas Nizigama. Rilova Adubola Olofen. Aluk Bemini Alukoda Ano Banjo. Ready, Panduga. Apurv Shah. Amandeep Singh. Shishan. 
शिशवान हु सुगन्या जयपालन तीन ह्यू न्यूआन सैयद रेजा राजवी वाकस अली सईदा मेवेशीना बुखारी हिमांशु चौहान चरणकांत रेड्डी चरुकू मुनिका किरण एलुरी तिरुमल रेड्डी गुत्था मोहम्मद उस्मान हामिद पूर्णचंदर कन्या पू रवनीत कौर प्रनिशा मरधाला अजमान महमूद बहनाम मोहबतपुर रामित दीपक रंजो गौड़ा होजत रेहानी विनोद कुमार शंकर आदिश्री शर्मा ताविश शर्मा मनवीर सिंह शबरीश वुली कंटी I am pleased to introduce to you the candidates for the Master of Magistrate in Applied Science and the Master of Magistrate in Engineering from the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering. Mohammad Ashi Kuzaman. Masood Dagiani. Masood Dagiani. Jean Sebastien Fizet. Navjot Kaur. Hao Sun. Hao Sun. Nitish Aryakil. Nitish Aryakil. मरमार मुश्दई दिलप्रीत कौर बाजवा साहिल बहुत साहिल बहुत पर्थ अविनाश चौहान
अवनीत सिंह चावला अबरार अलवी चौधरी शिवाजी गणेश चुंडू रिधि राजेंद्र भाई दसानी हरप्रीत कौर ढोंकल वेंकट इमानी चेतन गंधावड़ी अभिषेक कुमार गर्ग मनन मनसुख भाई गिनोआ यश गोदवानी यश गोदवानी मोहम्मद अजीज मोहम्मद अजीजी मासूद हुसैन जयप्रकाश जांगीर जयप्रकाश जांगीर हरिनारायणन कानन दिलप्रीत कौर बुरहानुद्दीन खाजा राहुल मल्होत्रा केशव माथुर हकीमुद्दीन मोहम्मद जीशन मोहिदुन मोहिद मोहिउद्दीन सपनदीप मुल्तानी बहनास नजीवंद जादे राशमी नारायणन नारायण केनेचु नुडू इजरो गेने ओमी जुमिते पलवी पाली सत्ती अंकुर पटेल निधि पटेल वेंकट सुनील सनी पॉल पुपला
Hassan Rauf. Arjun Ravindran. Arjun Ravindran. Farhan Saeed. Essen Saif. Abdul Fazal MD Samed. Sunil Satya Silan. Faram Shah. Saeed Shurai Nejati. Gurvinder Singh. Gurvinder Singh. Melanie Walder. I am pleased to introduce to you the candidates for the Master of Magistrate in Applied Science and the Master of Magistrate in Engineering from the Department of Mechanical, Industrial and Aerospace Engineering. Charles Chukwudike Aniaro. Paul Ernest. Nikolai Nazarov. Vignesh Rajaram. Sne Divan Kumar Sutar. Mohammed Hussain Kalbasi Ashtari. Omid Mohammadi. Omid Mohammadi. Saif Mohammad Musfi Rahman. Sayyid Ibrahim. Jude Akendle. Bhagya Venkat Vinod Anupujo. Nebu Chirian Philip. Nushin Hashmi. Surush Iranijad Rankui. Deepak Kalkal. Saravanan Kanan. Bhagya Raja Kayala. Shripad Raghavendra. Melvin Mohan Kurian. Mohan Kurian. 
Mohammad Reza Martin. Amir Mogadasi. Somil Vipul Panchal. Yash Parekh. Yash Parekh. Bhomik Parmar. Bharadwaj Popuri Prakash Poon Ashbel KZ Robin Salvaraj Ali Reza Ruin Far Ali Reza Ruin Far Jeevan Rupa Shakti Bhaskara Gurvinder Singh Sagai Sharad Shashi Kumar Ayush Shrestha. Harman Preet Singh. Manpreet Singh. Hamid Suri. Hamid Suri. Narendran Sundra Pandyan Ashish Joseph Varghese Sayed Viradi Abhishek Yadav Mayank Zilawat Thingwan Zeng Eder da Silva Salis Eder da Silva Salis Said Garme Prince George Matthew Prince George Matthew Mohsen Hamedi Mohsen Hamedi Sandesh Ratnavarma Hegde Andrew Kingsley Jairaj Carlos Alberto Pereira Ali Rahimi Ali Rahimi Shian Yan Shian Yan Zainan Zhang Abhishek Shri 
शेख नदीम अहमद हरमनजीत सिंह अलग एम डी शाहजहां अली वजाहत अली अमीर मसूद अराबनिया यासिन बिन असद पनी साई विश्वनाथ अयला सोमाया झूला आलू वोताबी अब्दुल अजीज बेलो दीपक भानोर सुधा रानी बुर्गू शुभम चोपड़ा मोहन कुमार गंधम कोनिका गेरा चरणबीर गिल चरणबीर सिंह गिल जबजोत सिंह गिल विराज कुमार गोहिल समर्थ गुप्ता शेरॉन आइजेक अरविंद जय कुमार चैतन्य काले साहिल कामरा लक्ष्मी अविनाश कोटनानी मोहम्मद शोएब मोहम्मद अख्तर लेसवाला मोहम्मद शोएब मोहम्मद अख्तर लेसवाला कृष्णा तेजा लाम कृष्णा तेजा लाम विनय अरविंद लाल मैसूरिया लतीफुद्दीन लतीफुद्दीन मोहम्मद उमेर नासिम रिक्शे नहीं रौनक सतीश भाई पटेल रजत नोबलप्रीत सिंह संधू मिजो सेबास्टियन चंद्रेश 
चंद्रेश मनुभाई शिलादिया गुरु सज्जन सिंह हरजोत सिंह हरप्रीत सिंह जसकरण सिंह जसप्रीत सिंह ज्योति प्रकाश सिंह पवन प्रीत सिंह शशांक कुमार मोहित ठाकुर मोहित ठाकुर विवेक थापा सामूल त्यागी कृणाल सिंह दिलीप सिंह वंसिया शांतनु वाधवा हंसू जीवेन यांग I'd now like to ask uh, the Provost and Vice President Academic, Dr. Ann Whitelaw, for the uh, conferring of the degrees. Would all graduates please stand? <laughs> Mr. President and Vice Chancellor, on behalf of Senate, I present to you the candidates for degrees, diplomas, and certificates in the Gina Cody School of Engineering and Computer Science. I certify that these candidates have fulfilled the requirements for these degrees. By the powers granted in the university charter, I admit each of you to the appropriate degree, diploma, or certificate as approved by Senate and certified by the provost. Congratulations. Please be seated. Concordia's strategic directions foster innovative research and groundbreaking solutions to address the significant challenges facing society. We're dedicated to inspiring, supporting, and recognizing key achievements that impact the broader community. And as such, it's my pleasure to announce the recipient of the 2019 Governor General Gold Medal Award in the category of Technology, Industry, and Environment. Dr. Alireza Hagigat Mamagani. Dr. Hagigat Mamagani's PhD dissertation entitled Hydrothermal Solvothermal Synthesis of Hierarchical Titanium Dioxide Photocatalysts for indoor, indoor Air Purification is an outstanding contribution to the field of material science, photocatalysis, and air purification of indoor environments. His groundbreaking work on novel hierarchical titanium oxide-based materials is particularly noteworthy and has tremendous potential in the areas of health and cities, which are two of Concordia's major research hubs. Dr. Hagigat Mamagani's research 
has received more than 175 citations since 2017, and he's been the recipient of numerous awards and, in, and distinctions, which are incredible achievements for a young researcher. Currently, Dr. Hagagat Mamagani is a postdoctoral fellow at the University of Alberta, and unfortunately, he was unable to join us this evening. But he remains a Concordian at heart. Please join me in congratulating Dr. Hagagat Mamagani. It is my pleasure to introduce our valedictorian from the Gina Cody School of Engineering and Computer Science, Dr. Carlos Zatina. Dr. Zatina defended his PhD dissertation, Network Design Under Uncertainty and Demand Elasticity, under the supervision of Dr. Ivan Contreras in the Department of Mechanical, Industrial and Aerospace Engineering and also Dr. Jean-Francois Cordeau in the Department of Logistics and Operations Management at HEC. Dr. Zetina's research focuses on mathematical models and innovative solution algorithms for network design problems. His work has led to the publishing of six peer-reviewed journal articles in high-quality international journals and 14 presentations at international and national conferences. Dr. Zina's academic performance is equaled by his generous volunteerism and his commitment to go beyond. He has been the recipient of numerous awards for volunteer work, including the INFORMS Judith Liebman Award, INFORMS Student Chapter Magna Cum Laude Award, and was the CJC valedictorian of the 2006 graduating class. Dr. Zetina is currently a postdoctoral fellow at Polytechnique de Montréal, which is very close to Concordia, and so we look forward to seeing him on campus regularly. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Zetina. Thank you, Dr. Wood Adams. President and Vice Chancellor Carr, Dr. Cody, Dr. Brent, Dr. Felder, distinguished guests and participants, fellow students, families, and friends. I am honored and humbled to address you today on behalf of the graduating class of 2019. Je suis très honoré et fier de vous adresser ce soir. Chers collègues, ça fait longtemps que nous avons commencé cette étape de nos vies en début qui a mené de grands changements. For some, this meant leaving the comforting walls of their sajep for the unknown and at times cringing halls of the hall building. For others, it meant a more drastic change, a new country, a new culture, a new language, and experiencing for the first time sub-zero temperatures that literally makes breathing hurt. We left our comfort zone aspiring to become engineers and computer scientists, the creme de la creme of all professions, or so we thought. During the next few years, our lives would be filled with numerous challenges, stressful all-nighters where we'd cram in a, in a semester's worth of knowledge in one night, moments of despair when the exam paper before us seemed to be written in some alien language, and flashes of self-doubt in which we questioned if we'd ever be worthy of the Iron Ring. But here we are today, cloaked by the decor of the Wilfrid Pelletier Hall at Place des Arts, and cradled by the warmth of our accompanying family and friends, celebrating the fact that we are now fully-fledged, bona fide engineers and computer scientists. Felicitations, congratulations. We didn't make this journey alone, though. Behind this celebratory occasion is a multitude of people whose guidance and support made it possible for us to be here today. First and foremost, the families. Les mères, pères, sœurs et frères, et les autres membres de famille. Merci pour votre encouragement. 
Thank you for helping us through stressful midterms and the occasional setbacks we thought were the end of the world. We may not show it often, but we appreciate you pushing us to work hard for our goals. Just don't make it a habit. To the professors here at Concordia, who spend time preparing class material, giving countless consultation hours, and finding creative ways to keep a somnolent 8 a.m. class from knocking their heads on the desk, your devotion to the cause of higher education, all just for the satisfaction of knowing that we'd be standing here today, is one of the most selfless acts anyone can do. Thank you. To the staff at Concordia, who make all the magic happen behind the scenes, from course registration to room bookings, department budgets, and even today's magnum event, you are the unsung heroes of this institution of higher learning. Thank you. Of course, the last few years would not have been as memorable without the many friends we've made at Concordia. Friends with whom we've shared great moments like going to the firework festival, biking around the island, barbecues at Parc La Fontaine, and weekend getaways to chalets. For us international students, these friends became family, providing us that warm home feeling that got us through these cold winter months. To all those with whom we've shared these and other precious moments, we also thank you. The last few years have been a period of growth. We've not only learned technicalities of each of our fields, but also we've learned about ourselves, our passions and our fears, our strengths and our weaknesses. These will play an important role as we make our way to becoming better professionals, better engineers, and better citizens. In a world that in recent years seems to set itself on fire more frequently, with polarized views on inequality, immigration, and climate change, we must take the lessons, and most importantly, the values we've learned here at Concordia, and make them resonate with the world. As we take the next step in our paths, let us not simply work, let us not simply study, but instead, let's strive to make this world a better place. Now, some of you might say, why me? I'm not going to make a difference in the world. But as a Creole proverb in my home country, Belize says, one, one, okra full basket. Ça veut dire, if we each contribute toward a common goal, no matter how big or small each contribution is, eventually, we'll succeed for the common good. Demain, on sera la force qui change le monde. But tonight, bask in this moment of joy. Celebrate this achievement. You've worked hard and you've succeeded. And so I leave this final message to you, my fellow graduates, in the wise words of Cool and the Gang. <clears throat> Celebrate good times, come on. Thank you, merci beaucoup. Thanks very much, Carlos. First thing I want to say is how much I appreciate you taking the time to thank the faculty and staff uh, who really contributed, I think, to, to all of your educations. Uh, certainly faculty and staff uh, are a strong support of the university. Uh, they play a very crucial role, and I'm glad that you pointed that out. There's a theme here tonight of self-doubt. I'm not sure where that's coming from. <laughs> Um, the imposter syndrome that Dr. Brandt and Dr. Felder talked about, Carlos, you referred to self-doubt. So let me just say that I'm confident, I'm confident that the graduates of the Gina Cody School are going to do great things for Quebec, for Canada, and for the world. The world needs Gina Cody graduates. And I want to 
feel that confidence in part because of something else you said, which is about values and about the beauty of experiencing something new and about the potential to grow. And this is just one step in a journey. And all of you, all of us, have enormous potential to grow. And I look forward to hearing more about your growth as the years go by. But now, it's my pleasure to ask Dr. Whitelaw, our provost, for her closing remarks for the convocation. Mesdames et Messieurs, merci d'être venus en si grand nombre de partager avec nous la joie de nos diplômés. Thank you all for being here to celebrate the terrific success of this class of 2019. Dear graduates, the ceremony is almost over, and I hope it's been an exhilarating marker of your time that you've spent at Concordia. Convocation is a rite of passage into what we sincerely hope will be a brilliant future for all of you. But before you step into that bright future, let's take a moment to honor the people who accompanied you on the journey to today. Some of them may be faculty members, as Graham mentioned, mentors and staff sitting here on stage with me. Some of them may be fellow students sitting in the seats or rows beside you. But graduates, would you please stand up, turn around, and thank all the family members, partners, and friends who have been with you every step of the way to today's destination. To you, the graduates of 2019, I offer one last message. Concordia is a great university with a promise of an even greater future ahead of it. And on this day, there is no better measure of our success or our potential than you. We will always be your university, and as alumni of Concordia, you will always be our best ambassadors. Thank you for having chosen our university as the pathway to your future. You honored us with this choice, and now as the ceremony comes to a close, please allow us to toast your success with a vin d'honneur in the lobby outside. Merci, félicitations, au revoir, à bientôt. <laughs>